here we have clean. We here had a wine stain that's gone on the carpet and in this case the client has put some salt on it, the salt has now been removed. Luckily not much more has been done to the stain and usually when the client do less to the stain we are usually more successful at removing it. You can see in this case it's a glass of wine that fell over, there's some splashes on yeah, the now applying the stain remover to the stain, um, leave it to work and then we will rinse it out. As I spray it down you can already start to see it's removing some of it. So we're just about to start removing the lighter stains on the, on the side. I've covered this up so that the chemical can work a little bit. You can see there it's much lighter than what it was before. Now the next process. What we'll use for this is what we call a water claw because a lot of this wine is soaked into the pile of the carpet. We would like to remove it from underneath. Otherwise it does come back. It's what we call wick back. This uh, product works by the airflow coming out but it's picked up through all these different holes. Soak it nicely into the carpet. Leave it to work a little bit and then it's as simple as connecting our vacuum hose up to this. And if you stand close to you will see how it's up the and then it lifts the cleaner through the carpet from underneath. You can see that it's by working on the back of the pressure. You can do the same there. So it actually sucks the air through the back of the carpet. Now after the second attempt of cleaning the stain, you can clearly see the big marks still present. This is very likely because salt has been applied in this area. You can see all the little drips that wasn't touched by the client before, that's come out straight away. But the area that's been affected by the salt, that's now much more difficult to remove. And that's why if you do have a stain and it's a size as this, I'd rather give us a ring so that we can deal with it because we're much more successful at removing it if you haven't touched it. So we've now used another product to remove that last tinge of the red wine. I'm just busy rinsing and this is very important to remember. Some companies are forced to use only one range of product because they are in a franchise where they can only use those. Using an independent company like Art of Clean allows you to get somebody in that has got a choice of very So we're just about to products. make the final rinse on the carpet. I've already started there but you can see there that looks 100% better. It's very important as well if you do get a company in to remove your stain for you that they don't put chemicals down and cleaning solutions down that they don't remove. With Art of Clean you know we use safe cleaning solutions that we will remove out of your carpet so it doesn't resoil very quickly. Hi there, this is Pierre with Art of Clean. I'm just here with Mr. Garrett and we've cleaned some wine stains off his carpet uh, for unfortunate accident there and that looks so much better now. Mr. Garrett, tell us a little bit more about what happened. Well, unfortunately, my wife knocked over a glass of wine um, and we didn't really know quite what to do about it. Um, the first thing was panic, but, and then she looked up on the internet and found that one way of dealing with it is to put salt on it. Well, unfortunately, that hasn't worked, so we called Art of Clean and they came in very quickly and um, did a very good job, as you can see, of removing the stain for us. So, Mr. Garrett, thank you so much for choosing Art of Clean. It's really been a pleasure working for you today. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much for coming thank out you. so quickly. Thank you. Thank you.